introducing first to the corner to my right from Long Beach Island, New Jersey, weighing in at 218 pounds, the professional Rhett Titus! His opponent in the corner to my left from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 215 pounds, Weapon X, Matt Makowski! Here we go, a true test for Makowski and a true test for Rhett Titus as well. I'm excited about this one. The handshake offered as it always is with members of the foundation, but what do you think Rhett Titus is going to do? How can he overcome the overwhelming force of someone like Matt Mikowski? What I've said from the beginning when watching Matt Mikowski, you have to out-professionally wrestle him. Matt Mikowski's a machine. Matt Mikowski will break your body down so fast. But if you can outsmart him in a professional wrestling setting, you can beat Matt Mikowski, and Rhett Titus is the guy to do that. But nobody has figured out quite yet how to defeat Matt Mikowski in this setting since he won the greatest rivals round robin during the pandemic in our tapings. Defeating Wheeler Yuta, Tony Deppin, and in an absolute classic defeating Chris Dickinson in that final to become the winner of that round robin. And since then, he's been unstoppable. But like you said, is Rhett Titus the man to take that experience and put it to great use? You have to outsmart him. And I'm not saying Makowski's not a smart guy. I'm just saying Makowski is not wrestling savvy yet. Matt Makowski has every other tool and he's light years ahead of where he should be. But it's just that experience that I feel like you can't get experience until you get experience. That's absolutely right. Looks like there's a cut somewhere. Could be on the wrist of Makowski, not quite sure where it's coming. Maybe the nose of Titus. I mean, when they are down there grappling on the mat, a lot of people take that for granted, but it is a very physically tough thing that they are going through. Rhett Titus could have a blade in his uh, in his wrist tape. We don't know. Rhett Titus is a vet. Oh, come on. But he does have a cut over his eyebrow, and that's something our referee Chris Bankos is going to have to keep an eye on because if that blood keeps getting into his eye, at what point do you try to protect the man for his own good? I mean, it's just a little cut. It's just a little blood. It's what would Harley Race do at that point? Harley Race would keep going. So would Rhett Titus. Takes him down with control of that arm in tow is See, Makowski. That's what I was talking about, grabbing the ropes right away. And you saw Makowski's face when he did it, like, oh, come on. So now Makowski may start getting a little flustered here as this match goes on because Titus is using the rules to his advantage. Collar and elbow tie up from a standing position, standing wrist lock from Rhett Titus as the longtime veteran coming to Beyond Wrestling, having impressive displays in the past, especially against Chris Dickinson, coming out on the losing end, but showing a lot to a lot of people that he belongs right here and beyond. And he definitely does. Rhett Titus is a guy that, you know, I remember in 2005, 2006, when he was just coming up, you know, we all said Rhett Titus is really, really good. And now he's only gotten better. Standing switch there from Makowski here at the beautiful Patty's Beach Club at the foot of the Atlantic Ocean. Two people have already gone in, maybe more later on. I think this one will stick in the ring as Rhett Titus off the ropes. I'm gonna go skinny dipping later. Oh! And that is exactly what I'll do to you if you try. Matt Makowski with a kick straight to the chest of Rhett Titus, sending him crashing down to the mat. He just kicked his heart into his spine. He absolutely did. Makowski snap suplex right into that lateral press and that's what you're talking about with his lack of experience but he is trying to gain more and more as he goes along throwing things like your regular suplex into his repertoire and i almost feel like matt makowski begged beyond management for this match because matt makowski knows wrestling a guy like rhett titus will only make you better and rhett titus going in there with the shoulder tackles in the corner as the blood <laughs> starting to cake above his eyebrow, but letting referee Chris Bankos know he knows exactly how long he has to take advantage. You know, it's actually a great sign that that blood is starting to coagulate. That means it will not trickle down into his eye and it won't affect him in this match. 
Slams him right down on his knee, follows it up with the back suplex. Really well done by Titus, opts not to cover. Could be a mistake, you only, there we go. Goes for the cover now, took a second too long, only a count of two. And that may be something that Rhett Titus does in underestimating a guy like Matt Makowski, saying, I got him, I got him. But you don't have him until you have him. Having to regain his bearings was Rhett Titus before he went over and made the cover as now he is going back to work on Weapon X in the center of the ring. And again, the lateral press, Rhett Titus knows he's not gonna get a victory, he knows he is just making Mikowski work harder. Exude energy, that's what you wanna do, especially in these conditions with the sun beating down on the ring. I mean, there, the breeze is gone right now, so it's actually pretty hot outside. Exude energy. And Mikowski making him do just, excuse me, Titus making him do just that as he tries to maintain control on Weapon X, but just like that, landing on his feet on the apron, but he is met with a shot by Titus and returns one of his own as these two going back and forth. Lukowski trying to hold on here. Yeah, one hard fall and you're down. Luckily it's sand and not wood. Lukowski holding on by one hand. Here comes Titus. Makowski lands a shot flush on the chin. Did you hear the snap? And there it is. Rear naked. Titus is in a horrendous position. He needs to try to work his way toward that rope or fight out in any way he can. And once again, Rhett Titus going back up. Standing up, Makowski holding on for dear life and right into that turnbuckle. See, and in the octagon, that fight was over. Now, this fight keeps going and Matt Makowski is not used to that. Titus charges in. The Magnum belly to belly connects. Almost a three count there. Matt Makowski holding on, but Rhett Titus digging deep into his playbook, pulling out that Magnum suplex. And now he's just going to stretch him like a greenhorn. Pulling the arm of Matt Makowski, stretching him, making him gasp for air. Doesn't have full control of that left arm of Makowski, but he has enough control of the shoulder and the arm, the right side of Makowski. So he is really hanging on here, making it count. And he's throwing those shots into the, into the uh, lats, into the solar plexus there, trying to make him gasp for even more air right now. Makowski trying to hang on. He has been in some really tough positions in the past here and beyond, trying to get back into this ball game and he hits the hip toss. Oh, but Titus sensing the danger, knowing he has to keep Mikowski at bay, trying everything, hold on. Uh-oh. He has him hooked here, and it looks like from this vantage point, but that no. forearm's under the neck of Rhett Titus. Rhett Titus is six foot five, though. He can reach those ropes, and that's what he did. Once again, getting him out of, if that were in the octagon, that doesn't matter, but it does in pro wrestling. If you out pro wrestle Mikowski, you can beat him. And Rhett Titus trying to do just that, become the first person to do that to Matt Makowski since the end of the pandemic era of Beyond Wrestling. He almost forearmed those stupid lines off of his head. Matt Makowski, I'll let him know you said that about his haircut. Back elbow from Makowski on Titus. Whips him face first. The feliner, Matt Makowski struck him on the chin. And now Makowski, he's got the momentum. Overhead, belly to belly suplex. The top of Titus's head hit that mat. Spinning back kick. Makowski with the double underhook, slams him down, he is fired up. He's feeling it now. Matt Makowski has all the momentum, but you've gotta go after a vet like this. Rhett Titus giving some room to breathe. Makowski trying to finish him off in impressive style. Now going with those knees, trying to connect with a knockout blow. Going for a powerbomb type move here, but Rhett Titus grabbing the back of Makowski's legs. Titus holds on, rolls him through. He's got the arms. Only a two count, Titus coming in. Makowski trying to muscle his way up. And there's so much sweat on those bodies right now. Makowski's taking a beating. He Backslide. Couldn't get him up. Holds onto the wrist and there's a kick. 
like a shotgun to the chest by Makowski. The shin of Makowski catching the chest of Titus, and Makowski gut wrench. Picks him up, slams him down with the power bomb. No, Rhett Titus gets the shoulder up. Only a count of two. And now the frustration has got to be setting into Matt Makowski. What do I've got to do to beat this guy? And this crowd showing their appreciation for this hard fought battle between Matt Makowski and Rhett Titus here at Patty's Beach Club, Westerly, Rhode Island on this beautiful end of the summer day. I have oceanfront property here. I don't know about that as Rhett Titus with the shoulder block. Face first into that top turnbuckle. Here comes Titus. He's Look at the agility. Right for it. The agility this late in the match. Gonna try the German. No. Rolls Makowski through. He could have him. No. Getting the shoulder. Uh, oh, arm bar. Arm bar. If he straightens it out, it's over. His other leg's on top of him. But Look at that. Titus smart enough to know. Oh, he's gonna get it. He's trying for it. Titus is fighting. Transitions into the Rings of Saturn variation. He oh. is pulling him hard. Makowski's shoulders ended up down. He got it up at the last second, but Titus right back to his feet. Barely, barely got that shoulder up, did Matt Makowski. Oh, wow. Titus caught him. Rhett Titus caught him. Running Yakuza kicks from Titus. This could be it. Covers him. Makowski barely getting that shoulder up, Sydney. How can you beat Matt Makowski? He kicks out of everything. Rhett Titus has been throwing everything, including the kitchen sink at him, and still cannot get the victory here. Gonna try for that single leg. Kicking the face of Titus in defense is Makowski. Just trying everything, anything and everything. Oh, kicks him out of the way. Here comes Makowski. Oh, caught him! Oh, he got his hands up though. He blocked most of it, but the momentum knocked him down. Is that enough for Makowski? Gonna roll through. Gut wrenches him up into the arm bar. It. it is over. What an unbelievable win for Matt Makowski. Well, Matt Makowski picking up the win here against Rhett Titus, but there is absolutely no shame in that performance as Rhett Titus was so close to picking up the victory over Matt Makowski, but came up just short. And my broadcast partner, Sidney Bacabella, just disappeared. I, maybe he's going to the Sizzler, like he said he was going to earlier. I, there is no Sizzler around here, but Rhett Titus really taking a step up and showing exactly what he can do inside of a wrestling ring. And I'm here, are they sending out anybody to do color? I, all right, well, I'm alone here at the booth, so we're gonna go solo here for a while until I figure out exactly where Sidney Bacabella went.